Hi, you guys. Welcome. Welcome back. My name is Carrie Penny. I am the Happy Crafty Homemaker. And as the title would suggest down below, today we're going to talk about my, my quarterly updates for my 2019 goals. Um, we're only in the first half of September, so I am filming this relatively early. I don't know when this video is going to be uploaded. It will probably be uploaded in about two weeks. Uh, I am having to film it early because by the time the end of the month comes, I am basically going to be homeless in a hotel <laughs> uh, with the sale of our this house and the per the delay between the sale of this house and the closing on the next house. So um, I didn't, I'm not going to have all my information with me. I'm not going to have all my books with me, my scales, projects, all that stuff. So I didn't want to risk not being able to update you guys in a timely fashion. Because even when we get into the new house, my priority obviously will not be knitting and crocheting. It's going to be unpacking and finding my stuff. So, yeah, I have my list that were, was my goals for 2019, and I have my numeric values for the things I can update you on, so let's just cruise on through. Um, goal number one was to use 50 pounds of yarn. I am at 31 pounds, almost dead even. Uh, I also had 50 pounds of other, but like I said with my last video... A, I have not done that good of a job at tracking things. I'm at mm, maybe four pounds listed on here. Part of that is I was really hoping I had some a bunch of stuff I wanted to sew. I had a bunch of cards I was going to want to make. And I've just literally run out of time. I haven't had time to do the things I had meant to do. Um, so I'm not, given how the year went and what's happened so far in the last nine months, I can't be overly mad about it, but I'm still a little disappointed in myself. Uh, the third thing was I wanted to use up all my cotton. I have used up about 50% of what I had at the beginning of the year. Um, that is one of the things that will be going to temporary housing with me. And I do have some patterns from the Snappy Tots um, gift collection that she's doing that I've printed and want to take with me that will use those dishcloth cottons. I got frustrated with the dishcloth book I was using, so I will not be continuing to work my way through that book. Um... Yeah, I had two of them I was trying to use, and neither one of them are, are doing it for me. I'm finding better patterns from independent designers that are at least more interesting to work on. I wanted to donate 52 hats, and so far to date, I've donated 36 hats already, so I'm really close to having that goal done. I wanted to make six pairs of socks. I'm at three pairs finished, two on the needles, one already planned. I wanted to do six blankets. I have two out of six completed, and I have two active whips. Technically, I have three blanket whips, but one I'm, I've had to slow down on significantly. I am halfway through the Jada and Stitches 2017 blanket, and I am four and a half balls of yarn into my mother's Christmas blanket. So hopefully uh, in the next month, I'll have at least the Christmas blanket done that leaves this, which is going to be a donation uh, baby blanket. This will be donated baby blanket and my dad's Christmas blanket also. So I may actually have seven finished blankets by the end of the year. I wanted to make four Santa hats. Now my original plan had been to use my Bowie yarn and do things like I did last year with the Santa hat that I shared in one of my very early show and tell videos. Uh, however, I have not been working on those, but I did make this one from a Craftsy kit. So I've got one of four made. Uh, every year when we do our family Christmas, somebody is the elf. And I figured having a green and, green and white hat to, for the elf to distribute gifts with would be fun and appropriate. I wanted to end 2019 without scrap yarn. I have not been as diligent with my acrylic scraps as I would have hoped I had been. Um, 
when we were in the apartment for temporary housing and when we, uh, at the beginning of the year, I was very, very diligent on this. Now I have not accumulate, excuse me. I have not accumulated nearly as many scraps as I thought I had. I do have a couple balls here and there. I have worked with most of my scrap yarn except for the balls that are about this size or less. Um, I do have a couple DK weight ones and a couple of worsted weight ones. The worsted weight ones are in my bin to work on my hexagons for my granny hexy blanket. Um, I don't know what to do with the DK weight ones yet. And my sock ones, I have some that I have set aside to do, um, either I'm going to do a granny cluster blanket or a granny square blanket using my sock yarn. I haven't decided yet. Um, but I do have a couple of those. I did, one of my biggest things is I'm having more leftover skeins which are, you know, use 20 to 50%. You can still leave it in the skein. You don't have to ball it up. You can just tighten the, ba the yarn band and go. I'm having more of those kinds of leftovers versus the scrap ball leftovers from a lot of these projects. Um, when I did these hats, I did two that I donated to Ua Crochet's Amber over Ua Crochet's project, uh, or her kid mal. I did two hats in the kid sizes using the two cupcake yarns. And then I did one adult knit hat for myself. And I still have three color changes worth of yarn left. Um, it's not enough to do a whole project, but I'm still not sure what to do with it. I have a couple of DK weight scraps like that. Um, I might break apart the colors and store them individually like that, but I don't know yet. I haven't made my final decision on that. Um, but I mean, it's, I haven't forgotten yet. It's not something that's out of my mind. I just haven't done it. Uh, I wanted to reduce my yarn down to two cube units. I have epically failed at this one. Um, and not just from purchasing yarns. A lot of the yarns I'm purchasing, I'm actually using quite quickly with the exception of the Craftsy kits. Um, I've really been going through yarn. I've had, a, like I said, I've, I've had 30 pounds worth of yarn that I've used this year. So I'm using a lot of yarn, but I'm also receiving a massive amounts of yarn. I have received some amazing gifts over the last year. Um, and between that and my purchasing habits, yeah, I'm just saying I'm failing across the board on stashing down. So when I get the new craft room set up, um, I will be starting again from scratch with my storage. Um, I may or may not initially go out to purchase yarn storage. I might try to condense down some more. I don't know yet. But there's no way I'm I'm going through in the next four months two units worth of yarn. Um, no, that, that just won't happen. Um, I wanted to finish my granny hexy blanket. I haven't actively worked on it since Easter, so I haven't really made any progress with it. Um, so I'm still wherever I was last month when I reported back to you on this. Uh, I did have two techniques I wanted to try this year. One was double knitting and one was brioche. I did try double knitting and succeeded. I got a coaster out of it. I have not yet tried brioche. So I am trying to find maybe a brioche cowl. I don't want to think about decreasing yet. But I would actually prefer to do two color brioche starting out, not one color brioche. I think seeing it might help me. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, that's where I am. So, I mean, I'm not doing a horrible job at any one thing, but I've only been able to check off one item. That's it. Um, <coughs> oh, these were notes about my landscaping for the house. 
I have all sorts of random bits and bobs in here. I've been using this notebook now for two years, trying to uh, consolidate ideas for things. I have like a punch list of ornaments that I want to make. Um, there's some crochet projects in here that I really wanted to make. Um, yeah, I've got my Stardust Melodies blanket, the Santa hats, Nuts About Squares. That's a long-term UFO hiding in my house. Um, my goal for 2018 was to make 200 greeting cards to donate. Add some things for polymer clay in here and my Cricut. Let's see. Sewing. I want to do the grocery bag holders. Flying geese quilt needs to be finished. My Christmas quilt needs to be finished. I have... I don't know if it's down there or not. I can't twist around enough to see. There's a specific fabric that I bought wanting to do a skirt for myself. Unfortunately, my weight has varied dramatically since I bought the fabric. Nope, it's packed. Um, so I never got on the ball with doing the skirt. It's uh, got nest Russian nesting dolls. It's super cute. Um, so if you go back to previous videos before I packed all my fabric to get that uh, organization down... You probably see it sitting back here behind me. It's in the white section down on the bottom row here. Um, it actually probably was right under that section. Anyway, so yeah, I've been using the notebook for a while. It was actually a gift from my stepson and my daughter-in-law for Christmas a couple years ago. Um, she shares the same obsession I have with stationery and things like that. Um, so yeah, it's coming quite handy as I started the channel and trying to keep up with yarn usage. Now, another random tidbit about my usage, I have finished 131 projects this year. So, so far this year, I have discussed with you guys 131 finished objects. Now, we have had a lot of hats and dishcloths, but still 131 FOs. Uh, and that's just yarn. So I'm a little um, overwhelmed at how much I've actually completed. And I've got 32 will probably be done either tonight or tomorrow. And 33 probably by the end of the weekend. So it's a, a little jarring sometimes. But I still have another 20 pounds of yarn left to finish working with. <laughs> And that is also very overwhelming and uh, jarring. So anyway, that gives you my uh, year-to-date update on where I am with my yarn usage and my goals for the year. I, would, I know a number of you guys have done the same thing. I would love to hear how your year is working up and how your tracking is going. Um, I know Becky over at Funny Farm Crochet said one of her lessons learned from this year is she wants to track yardage as well as poundage because she's done a lot of very small projects like the um, crochet doilies, um, doily stars or snowflakes. And, you know, they, they weigh nothing, but you've got a lot of yardage that goes into those. So I know she said she wants to try tracking yardage next year, not just the poundage. I think I want to track grams just to be a little bit more accurate in my finished objects. And I need to make sure that I'm not trying to just weigh the yarn. It's the total finished object weight. Um, you things when you do like the weighted softies, trying to actually weigh each individual piece before attached and filled is actually kind of hard. Um, try not to jostle the camera too much as I said. Jeffrey the eggnog back down. Um, but yeah, I'd love to hear where you guys are on your year. I'd love to see your progress and know how you're moving through the year and meeting the goals you set for yourself. I will see you guys real soon. Take care. Um, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that standard YouTube stuff. Um, 
Bye, you guys.